What's up, y'all? This is Franchise Play, a.k.a. Brian Mazzeek, a.k.a. The Big Numbers Guy, and this is Throwback Thursday. I decided to do this. I had the idea, and uh, a sub mentioned in the comment, he was like, you know, you should do throwback games. And I was like, you know what? That was something I was thinking on, so I used that comment as validation to just go ahead and do it. What I'm playing right now and showing you is called Split Second. It's it's odd, you know, you guys know I got the non-sports video game channel now, so I kind of almost thought about putting this one there, but because you are racing, I decided, you know, we'll do it on the sports channel. Well, just to kind of break down what Split Second is or was or however you want to look at it, the concept I thought was really dope. So, you're like starting or you're trying to be, uh, come a ca uh, become a part of, it's like a reality game show. Uh, called split seconds so it has episodes or uh, 12 episodes like a whole season or whatever and it's like almost like you're auditioning to be a stunt man or something like that so you're in these races with these different drivers and you obviously the point is to win the race but there's all these different hazards and things like that that you have to avoid and you also have to create for your opponent as you're trying to win the race uh, so the way it's set up and packaged is really cool because every stage is an episode in the season of the show Split Second. So this is the tutorial. Basically what they, you know, he, the, this is like the producer of the show, kind of like the little Joe Rogan back when he was on Fear Factor. And he's telling you, you know, this is the, you know, drive around the course and learning the different uh, functionality in the, in the, in the driving mechanic. So, you're supposed to basically drift, do cool stunts, you know, force your opponents to wipe out and crash and that sort of thing. The thing that I liked most uh, about this game, because I when it first came out, uh, which was 2010, I believe. I'll correct that if I'm wrong, but I believe it was 2010. But what I most liked about this game was the absolute just sheer feeling of speed i mean when you play in this game it feels like when you get like up to top speeds it feels like you are just flying like about to literally take flight so i love that aspect of it i also like the look the graphics look of it it's like the um i don't know it's like this sunburnt look in a lot of the different stages thought it was real cool thought the cars looked nice too environments looked good uh lighting was definitely great good job um just the the action the intensity of it was i was was real um was real addictive to me uh, i played it far longer than i thought i would uh, i didn't do a lot of videos for it because back then i was just kind of like yeah nobody's gonna want to see this whatever but now i'm kind of on the thing of you know what if i play it at all if i touched it at all i'll go ahead and do a video so if this game were to come out now i would definitely have done something with it but that's neither here nor there. This is Throwback Thursday, and that's what we're doing. So, um, these the crashes and stuff that you create for your opponents is really cool. I mean, it's like nuts. But what I like, too, is that when those crashes and things are going, you're still controlling your car. So, yeah, all of this cinematic stuff is going on around on the track, but you still have to maneuver the car out of the way so that you don't, force yourself to crash which you'll see later on in the video i did that to myself a few times because it's been a while since i played the game so i kind of forgot some of the some of the details but you see some of those uh like the helicopters above they're literally carrying bombs to drop so i don't know what kind of game show this is but it must be like in the in the future when human life is not valued a lot because it's a lot of people getting a bomb dropped on their car but so they call power plays, and when you can drop one like that right there, you uh, they it's a like a a greenish bluish icon that comes over their head, over the head, over the top of the car, and that's they're in basically in position to be torn to pieces. Now you see your rate, your the uh, the meter there at the top is also at the bottom right under your car. You you charge that meter up by doing drifts, jumps, and that kind of thing. And just with speed too. Um, once it gets, you fill up the first blue meter. You can do um, 
you can do power plays. The second blue meter, you can do more uh, drastic power plays. When it gets all the way up to third, uh, the third meter, which is red, that's when you do the most destructive power plays that they have out there. So um, I wrecked one. You'll see me wreck two more here to finish off the tutorial. But the speed is speed is sick, man. But once you get to the actual stage aspect of it, where you're power play, boom. Come one down so they want me to do take three guys out or three three contestants out but I, I just really thought it was a a, a, fe a fairly unique concept I think stuntman did something like this but it wasn't this shiny or cool looking um, but I don't think stuntman had like a reality TV show setting I think stuntman was about like movies or something like that but this is like really literally like a TV show and, and the, the presentation is done to the point where it feels like you're literally on a TV show. I, I could think of a couple different things that maybe they could have done to make that like, concept come through even more. They probably could have been like, you know, had a, a television host or something like pop in in the lower right corner of the screen and kind of talk and, and, and you kind of hear like studio audience or something and something like that, you know. But nonetheless, I'm digging it. I was digging it. Um, I don't know. I If you looked up, I'm going to probably look up just how much. I'm going to look up how much this game would be if you got it from GameStop now. Like, if you got it, this if you is got it used split second. If it's if you like, like insanely fast cars, I don't know. If it's $10 or less, to I, would, right I would go. You know, I would go. Just, I mean, you know, over the next 12 exciting episodes, you know, on, on a, like a from around the world, real, literally, out on the track, kind of a thing, I would, I would definitely do it. It's a shame at this second point second right lead. now that. You this know, if you've already moved up to drivers are all that stand the, um, the contestants going next gen and games to the next that round. they're not backwards compatible. I just think that's as ridiculous. the contestants choose which but events hey, they want to enter. Is. Split Aiming second to earn for three six to qualify to the elite championship game stop. Bridges will fall. The day I'm looking at buildings reduced to seventeen ninety nine. At no corner can be considered that's safe. Right. Yeah, I don't know. That's right on the edge. But it's funny. Up. It got rated it's about to get explosive out uh, there. The, I guess this is the, 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 the consumer here on, on GameStop. On PlayStation 3, it's $14.99. PlayStation 3 owners rated it a 9.2. So it looks like I'm not the only one who thought this game was pretty dope. Let me confirm also the day... I mean, the year this came out. I think it was 2010, but I could be wrong. I could be wrong. It's two to eight. Um, uh, it's actually two to eight players online too. So I didn't talk about that or show that and actually compete with people online. There is some content download too, and it's some some level of leaderboard uh, there, but not anything too too you know too crazy. Um, but for some reason, this is not showing what day, what year this came out. I'll probably have to look to that old dependable slash non-dependable source, which is Wikipedia. Wikipedia is not that bad. You just got to know what you can and can't get off of it. You know, if you're writing an article about something, you probably don't want to fool with it. But you want to know what year a game came out. It's probably, probably okay. Yeah, it came out in 2010. I was right about that. In May... But then, yeah, it came out in May of 2010. It's also available for the PSP. And so I didn't know about that. I'm not really a, much of a mobile gamer uh, anyway. So, yeah, there it is. Um, so, man, I mean, I'm into the stage now, actually, where I'm actually doing the racing. And if you notice, another thing, the cool thing I like about it is during the race aspect of it and I see this guy wrecked me but you saw the car I picked I like that it was pretty dope you can change the color scheme up a little bit you saw that but while you're racing here in the stage you see there's nothing on the screen except for the action I always love that they just throw a couple things they blend in the the, the necessary uh, like overlay stat overlay type of things or number overlay things right like in real you know, real discreet to the point where you can, yeah, you can see them, but it's not like overpowering the screen. I also love that tunnel vision type of a camera look too. What I don't love is that I'm only in fifth place right now. That's not lovable. 
not lovable at all. So we're going into lap two. But this game is like fun, but at the same time, it can be so frustrating because you'll be, and not frustrating in a bad way, like I wish that I could handle my car better, but frustrating in the point where you'll see, I'm at a point where I'm about to like take the lead and somebody will trigger a power play on me. One of the, you know, one of the computer control drivers will trigger, trigger a power play on me and blow me to smithereens. Nuts. It piss just cra drives you nuts. You like right at second place or in first place. So you always, you know, like in most racing games, once you get ahead, as long as you don't crash, just drive into the wall or something, once you get ahead, for the most part, you know, you're usually in, you're usually safe, but not in this. Not in this. They will drop a bomb on your car right when you think you're going to win. So you got to always watch that. But look at this. I'm just, I'm blazing past people. Now I'm up to fourth. I got the red meter. I can do a catastrophic power play if I want to. Also, if you're wondering about the handling, it's definitely not simulation. Definitely not simulation. It's more, definitely more arcade. But, I mean, just think about the concept of the game. I think that just would match. It matches much more. You couldn't do simulation style handling on, on vehicles. Because then look at me. I'm already tearing up the car already. But you couldn't do simulation style handling in this concept. You would never... You, you, you'd be crashing more than you're driving for the most part. But uh, I also like the hellacious crashes. The only game I can think of that ever had crashes that were... See, that was actually not too smart by me. I'm right behind the car I dropped the power play for. So, obviously, that's going to crash my car, too. So, I don't know why I did that. But, yeah, you're... um Yeah, the Yomi only game I can ever remember that had crashes that were as like dope as these is, is burnout uh, burnout paradise I really wish they make another make that game over again just especially on next gen it would be ridiculous it could be just sick I liked it. the only thing of it was was it was kind of you did get caught up in the whole open world um, uh, what I call open world syndrome well when you have an open world game sometimes you get so preoccupied just doing crazy stuff, going around, going, hey, look what I can do. I can slam a car up into a billboard. You get caught up into doing that, and you don't actually start doing any missions. So you just drove around for about five hours, and you got 3% of the game completed. So you, you that did happen sometimes, but just visually, the game was pretty sick. It was pretty sick, and I can only imagine what it will look like on next gen. But... Man, we haven't seen a burnout game in a long time. I think, might be wrong, but I think that's the last burnout title that's been released. And it seems like Burnout Paradise came out in like, what, 09 or 08 or something? I don't know. I can look that up too, but I'm not sure. But it's somewhere around there. But look, I'm in second place with a chance to go. I'm 4.1 seconds behind the first place car. I'm gaining on him. And I'm filling up my meter. I'm, I'm, I'm. Preparing something for him, but the end of this lap is coming shortly. Oh, I missed my opportunity there. You saw that the power play came over his head. I missed the opportunity. Now I just got to catch him straight out. There's not enough time. I didn't get him. Only finished second. My car is blown up, but you know, they got some mechanics on, on site that are amazing. Didn't they? I mean, they fix your car up in a second, Jack. I mean, they make a lot of money and working in a body shop. But I got second place, uh, earned some credits. Also, you saw the little BRTV up there in the upper right corner. That's a nice little cool overlay. Another thing with the presentation, making it actually look like it's a TV show. But that's it for Throwback Thursday this week. Y'all stay tuned next Thursday for the next game. I don't know what it is yet. Y'all just watch. Peace. Subscribe.